Hello, Internet friends. I'm Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. Today's Tech Tip Tuesday is about manual dormer generation. Let's get started. Before I get going too far, please let me uh, take a brief moment to say if you find these videos valuable, would you consider a small donation at paypal.me slash designbuildsolutions? It just helps me uh, know that you do find this valuable and uh, just offsets some of the cost of of creating and producing these videos. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you. So here we have the plan to, uh, I've drawn the walls. I've drawn the major roof plane here. And I'm going to start with uh, my dormer roofs here. I've got my 10, 12 pitch, my 12 inch overhang, and I'm going to drag and draw on the exterior. You'll, you'll notice on the walls, I've got main layer only checked. So we just see the framing layers. And so I'm going to click and drag my roof plane along this wall. And then I click toward the roof ridge side. And now I've got two options for the dormer. Uh, in this case, this roof plane is going to sit on top of the full height wall plate. So I'm going to choose over the wall top. I'm going to do the same thing on this side and click up toward the ridge. And we have the same option. Now I can select this ridge and hit the number two on my keyboard to join those roof planes ridges together. And we'll drag this uh, manually to the appropriate overhang depth and then change that to 12 inches. I'm going to draw a polyline about this right here just for now and convert that. I am working in Chief Architect Premier X16, the beta version, and so you'll notice this convert polyline dialog here is a little different, a little uh, updated and new. So we've got architectural group here hole in roof custom ceiling. We will uh, have the layer options the same, same layer as new whole roof, uh, hole in roof custom ceiling, which would be roofs openings layer. All right, now that I select this, I know it's going to, um, this, this piece here is going to extend into the room as well as it's going to angle. So I'm going to hit the number three on my keyboard. I've set that up as a um, hotkey. You can select this hole and do the break tool here, add break, like so, and drag this up like that. Now this opening can also be joined to a roof plane. So the number two key on my keyboard or uh, this icon right here, join roof planes. If you, if I, my settings are set up that a double right click pulls up this menu, your settings might have a single right click or a double right click. There's the join roof planes. And you'll notice there's the hot key right there. That's why I hit the number two on my keyboard. And I'm going to join it that edge of the opening to this edge of the roof plane. Select this edge of the opening. I know in my settings this edge is selected because of the red square. Hit the number two key. And there's my dormer. So there's the dormer. Let's just set the window at the right height. Let's go look at the... Uh, That's interesting, huh? That may not be as tall as I thought here. No, that's right. That's the right height there. Hmm. I'll have to look at the numbers for why it's uh why it's getting cut off by the roof plane there, but that's it's not quite accurate. Check this wall type just real quick and make sure, nope, that needs to be an exterior wall type. Uh, 
can be the vertical board and batten. There we go. So there's my dormer with the roof, uh, the hole cut in there. Let's take a quick interior look, interior view. Oh, that's why. Let's try that. Still not quite above the roof, but that's better. And we'll need to do the same thing to this roof over here, or this dormer. And just to repeat, I'm going to draw the box first. I'm going to convert it to a hole in the roof custom ceiling. I'm going to then draw my roof planes right here. Now, this time I didn't get that little dialogue saying, do you want it over the wall top or, or at the roof starting point? Because I drew the box first. I drew the hole first. Join the ridges. Drag out to the appropriate uh, overhang size. And this one I'm just going to connect to that overhang on the right, the first overhang I did. I'm going to break this roof opening and join that with the roof plane. There's the interior view. I need to clean some things up with some uh, walls. We certainly can do that. Take a look here. You see that's just a straight, there's no angled um, ceiling in the dormer. So I'm going to go up to the attic and turn on my reference layers and draw an interior wall. I don't need to show that again. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to drag it over this exterior wall and align it so that they, those planes are perfectly aligned right there. Take a section of this. Now what I could do let me come down here to my roof opening. There we go. And I'm going to break it right here along this interior edge and drag that to where it's flush with that interior dormer wall. And then I'm going to select this wall and go to room my roof panel. And we're going to, do, 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 where is it? Roof cuts wall at bottom. I think that's what the one we want. Drag that inside of the dormer roof plane. There we go. And that's perfectly aligned right there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on all the other sides. And I can just copy and hold paste this over the uh, center. I drew a construction line through the center of this attic wall. And there's that one. And then I'm going to select these. Copy about the center of that to the center of that. Looks like I'll need to align them first. But this side, 
I actually didn't need to do that because it was already done here. Let's not forget to change my, there we go. My roof opening, I just did a break and it automatically went to the inside there. All cleaned up just the way I want it. Now I'd need to adjust my elevation so that this um, window isn't being cut off by the main roof, but that's our, that's our general uh, manual dormer. I hope this has been helpful. If you like this, please like, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. Otherwise, take care. Have a great week.